Welcome back to another video. So in this video, I'm going to answer that question. Hi guys, welcome back to another video. So in this video, I'm going to answer a question that was asked on a previous video. Um, I think I answered this uh, question in the previous video, but I realized that I answered the wrong question. So let me try and uh, re-answer the question that was asked. The question is about adding a break-even function to a forex robot created using this platform that we love to use it's called fx dreamer if you don't know how to code your own strategies in meta trader editor uh, for meta trader 5 meta trader 4 you can use this platform to turn your strategy into a forex trading robot for you uh, basically it's a free platform for mt4 for mt5 you need to pay a spouse uh, something but it's worth it if you are developing a profitable trading robot or a robot that you are going to uh, sell for some people uh, it's windy where i am i'm in uh, the western cape so it's kind of uh, windy in south africa at the moment in case you hear some uh, funny sounds in the background so uh, let me uh, make this uh, try full size okay so here is where we are so now i'm going to show you how to add a break even function to uh, your trading robot it's very very simple uh, this is an example uh, a default uh, uh, forex robot that you find when you come to uh, fx dreamer uh, so we're not going to go into that i'm just going to right click here and i'm going to say delete area so for the free version of FX Dreamer, you need to have, I think, 10 or 11 uh, blocks. Currently, I have a 6, which means it's fine. I'm not going to touch this uh, thing. It's a robot that was made uh, to do what? A crossovers. Basically, uh, it's a moving average crossover robot. When moving average 10 crosses over moving average 100, it buys. When moving average uh, 5 uh, drops below moving moving average 20 it sells so how do we add a break-even function to this uh, uh, robot uh, also the same uh, uh, procedure how are you going to add a break-even function for your own uh, trading robots when you come up uh, with them so basically it's almost like what I showed you in in the previous uh, video so after creating your robot after creating a robot in the on tick section after creating your robot you are still in this on tick section what you're going to do is you are still going to come to this section that says check for trades and again you pick this block that says if trade if there is a trade what do we want uh, the robot to do we want the robot to watch to break even uh, each trade and we link it like that and like I showed you in uh, the previous uh, video you can go and watch it you just double click to open up uh, this block double click I don't know what's happening with my internet now it's open okay finally so we are going to say which uh, trades are we going to break even so we are going to just come here we are going to say all of them either uh, manually opened or opened by a robot we want to we want to all of them break even all of them or if you want you can just say um, uh, uh, the robots that were the trades that were uh, what opened by your robot or if you want you can say manually opened but you can say open by your robot and in here uh, you can add your uh, magic uh, your magic number for your robot but anyway i'm just going to send it for uh, all, aut all automated and manually opened uh, for now then uh, i'll come here a symbol mode i'll just say any symbol 
uh, any symbol that we are trading and by type you can either choose buys or only sells but here either buys or sells whatever the robot is coming up with we just want to uh, uh, break even it then uh, again uh, you can choose how you are going to start using the break even so i'll just keep a fixed value then uh, here pips on profit basically when the prof when the uh, robot has moved into 15 pips uh, profit we want the break even to kick in so when you say none it usually goes uh, i think it's a pip uh, above your entry I think the default is about a pip above your entry and it uh, remains there or you can say after 15 uh, pips you want it to gain uh, say 5 pips then you press 5 there or you say after 15 pips you want it to gain so the break even needs to be at 10 pips and you just put it uh, like that uh, there so that's it about uh, how you can add uh, a break even uh, there uh, you can use this break even uh, function or if i just right click there to break the connection you can also use uh, the trailing stop and basically uh, start the whole uh, just do the whole thing again so that's how easy it is uh, to do this in uh, fx uh, dreamer now i'm just uh, doing uh, the trailing stop on top of uh, that as well either buys or sells then you can set your uh, your trailing stop uh, loss function there and you go update and once you're done with that you save your robot you first uh, name your robot uh, there and you click done then uh, you can download your robot we using these buttons mq4 or dot ex4 so that's basically the idea between uh, adding break even the question was about break even i just added in uh, the trailing stop there just to show that it's also in the same area in case somebody is also wondering but this is what you want to have before you re you name your robot and, and you click done and you download it guys I will see you in the next one. I hope uh, this has been helpful. I will see you in the next one. Bye.